Well, I think we will see a frost this week, but to be honest, the story is rather different for this coming week. We've been sitting for a day or two, and we will do, we'll do for a day or two more in this pile of air, which is very cloudy for us, but not especially cold nor especially windy. The cold air is kept back behind here, off the coast of Greenland and eastern Canada. We get that on Thursday. For the time being, though, we're in our anticyclonic gloom, the breeze light, some disturbance in the air, these little lines here that have given a bit of showery rain for southeast England and for Scotland. And also, of course, that means the air's turning over and sometimes the sun peeps through. So it is going to become a more active week, turbulent weather, if you like, a quiet start today and tomorrow, windy from Tuesday, and that'll be lasting for two or three days. Significant rain, I think, almost certainly for Scotland, though less so for anywhere else, and it will become mild. There will be a cold snap, probably Thursday, uh, but only a brief one. Things are moving apace. So the story really is increasing wind, which is obvious from Tuesday onwards. Tightening ice bars are very noticeable over Scotland, but it'll have a good shift of the cloud elsewhere through England and Wales. And then on Wednesday, ice bars close across the whole of the British Isles, and therefore a breezy day for all, if not a windy day. The real cold air held, I think, in the North Sea in Norway, but this is by no means certain. Certainly we'll all feel colder during Thursday and Thursday night with the frost, but how cold is still a moot point. This afternoon, though, if you see the sunshine, I should enjoy it because it'll be another day before it really comes back in. It's most likely maybe in the Midlands, southeast England, and northwestern Scotland, temperatures as yesterday. We should be frost free tonight. The close thing in the southeast of England, but closer still in Scotland, Highland Scotland, and the frost are nothing really to talk about until we get to that cold snap at the end of the week. So Thursday night, I plump for as being the significant one. The story, though, really is wind. We've had none, really, to speak of for a couple of days, but this forecast from Tuesday onwards brings a pretty strong wind, particularly for Scotland, but I think noticeable for all of us, and that cold plunge on Thursday. But for most of the time, it was a westerly, which is mild and damp. Monday's story doesn't yet bring it in, so not much changing around. Maybe some more heavy showery outbreaks in the northwest, but the sunshine in between, temperatures not much on the change. Tuesday, we'll see the increasing mild and damp weather for, uh, air for Scotland and brighter weather for England and Wales, you can say. Wednesday, it's milder for all. The wind's picking up, but there's still rain for Scotland. On Thursday, we're back to the cold push for the frost on the night. <laughs>